So, it's been four years since I've seen you. Four and, years. <laughs> and how, how have you been and how has your time in, in the adult industry been? Uh, great. I've been around a lot. I've done a lot of traveling. Um, I moved back to Oregon, got into Bikini Barista life and everybody loved it a lot of my fans all my customers that I've, I've actually had people travel from different states to actually come see me at the bikini stand so it's been really fun i got new boobs last year so i didn't shoot anything for a whole year this will be my first thing back in the biz after a year oh. so i never like got out i just i got boobs and wanted them to look 110 percent not like you know Brand new and a rock hard solid. Now it's been a year and they finally settled. I'm like, now you guys can see them. <laughs> what is bikini barista? In Oregon, um, I sell coffee in a bikini. Literally wear a bikini and you drive up to the little hut and you're like, hi, I want a mocha. And I'm in a cute lingerie with my hair all done and my makeup and I serve you coffee. I would think that would be more of an L.A. thing for some reason. Yeah, no, it's more, it's all in like Seattle. There's hundreds of stands in Seattle and now it's coming down to Oregon. There's some Northern California. So it just ha it hasn't got down here yet. Oh gosh, you gotta believe in yourself and F the haters. They are so, still to this day, I get rude girls that I've never even met in my life talking shit on Twitter or Instagram. I'm 24, and most of these girls, quite frankly, yes, are younger than me, but just worry about yourself, I feel like, in this industry. Get along with everybody. Don't pick fights. It's, you know, just stay out of drama. Even if somebody is mean to you, kill them with kindness. Because if you say one wrong thing to one person, this industry's too big, somebody else is going to hear it. It's just... That's that's this thing. Do your own thing. Focus on yourself is the advice I have. No. I don't have any friends in this industry, really. I have, like, a few acquaintances, you know, that I meet every now and then that I've gone along with or I've shot with. I have one girlfriend, I should say, that I've been friends with for four years in the industry. Her name is Zoe. That's her, her poor name, Zoe. Um, but uh, Zoe Fox. Cute little brunette girl. She just got back in the industry. But um, I've known her for quite a few years and I get along with her. But um, I just, I don't, this is my job and I don't like revolve my life around it. So I got all my, my perfect family back home. All my friends back home. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Porn sex is literally what it is. Porn sex. Like, I've never, like, gone on a date or met a dude who fucks me like somebody does in a, in a porn movie. So it's it's nice, you know? It's a nice change of pace. But also, like, with my industry, if people know that I'm a porn star, they want to fuck you like that. And sometimes you're just like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be fucked like that. I don't want, like, regular, give me regular people sex. <laughs> Yes and no. Sometimes I'm like, if it's been a long day or the long couple days or like a week, I'm like, I just want to be left alone. Sometimes let me take a bath and leave me alone, you know? Um, other days I'm like, I want my, you know, my boyfriend's dick or my significant other, whoever I'm with. I'm like, gosh, I've like not had you all week or two weeks. Like I've been gone from him for three weeks and I'm like, I want you so bad. So it really makes you, if you really love somebody, I think it really makes you crave them a little bit more because you like when you're attached to somebody you get that more like that bomb sex so <laughs> yes 110 percent, which i'm still exploring it's still exploring i just think porn kind of just made me more comfortable with my sexuality i just kind of before it other things i was like ooh, like anal i would never and then now I'm like, anal, like that's fucking normal. That's like nothing. Half of this stuff I've learned in porn and like, that's a thing or this is, you can do that. Like, there's just so much I've learned that I've tried and didn't like and I've tried and loved. And I wouldn't have known it if I didn't get into porn, honestly. I wouldn't have gone out of my way to like look up kinks. I know that for a fact. Oh, yeah. I was very made fun of in middle school and high school. I had my brown hair. I dressed like a boy. I was the firstborn and I was raised by my father. 
one of, I have four younger sisters, so five girls, and I'm the firstborn girl raised by my dad. So I dressed like a boy. It was kind of like a boy. Everybody always thought I was like a lesbian in high school. I was just weird. I was picked on. And then I got into porn, and I did it really because I didn't think anybody was going to like find out, I should say. Like, I was like, nobody cares about me. Everybody hates me anyways. Like, why does it matter if I do porn? Yeah, wrong. Um, within like a couple months, it was all over social media, all over Facebook. It was, people were super mean at first. And then once I was in it for so long, they're like, oh, she's actually like kicking ass. She's actually like doing shit, making a name for herself. And then it was like, boys who used to make fun of me now want to, you know, hook up with me. Girls want to be my friends now. So... It's kind of how it's a win win, but I still have I have my crowd and I have very I can see when somebody's trying to just be there for the clout. I I hate taking pictures of myself, so I'm actually really bad at social media. When I get a picture of myself, it's good and it takes off and it's like great, but I always like just don't know. I feel like I just don't know what people want to hear or see so I, I i need to be better at it i've been trying to get better at it and like taking more photos but it's like i have to get up and get cute and find the right light and do this and that and so yeah i'm just like i got so much better stuff to do than sit here and take photos of myself so that's me with social media i'm working on it though i've been getting better how do you deal with the negativity now compared back in the day it was a little bit more childish I would like backlash now the last two years I've just a lot of self-reflecting and getting to know myself like really nobody it doesn't bug me now like I'm like you literally don't do anything for my life that's how I see it now like literally like you don't pay my bills I don't even know you like I don't even know where you live you have a fake you know picture for your profile I don't even know who you are you can't phase me it's pretty much how it is now. If I know you, I probably get a little bit more, you know, feelings hurt because I'm like, you're a friend or something. But like strangers, I'm just like, and I get some mean shit on the internet daily. I don't think I ever go a day without somebody sending something rude. I've been a lot, I should say, because I have to take care of my body a lot more. Yes, absolutely. I'm more like, definitely into like taking care of my skin making sure my skin's always up hygiene definitely I never you know I never want to like show up and smell crazy or something like that so yeah I'm always like su I've always been super self-conscious of like my hygiene and taking care of myself but now it's even like more in depth like my one, even one of my friends came over to my house and was like I've never seen a girl with so much like stuff to clean their vagina like in my bathroom <laughs> I was like, dude, that's like my, that's my prized possession. Like it's always got to be up to top. It's always got to be top notch. So yeah, I definitely, you know, going to the gym more cause I got to keep, you know, a certain figure and I like to eat. So I got to balance it out. Save all my money. Are you kidding me? I was 19 when I got into this. So I was like, laptop, shoes, car, apartment. Then taxes came up the first year and I was like, oh, shit, I owe money. Like, I'm not used to this. I'm used to getting money back. Like, nobody told me this was going to happen. So it was really just a self-learning experience. I wish I would have saved at least half, you know, of, like everything I made. I was just spending it. I was young. I was like, I'm, I could buy everybody shots. I could buy, you know, it was just it was just fun. So that's one thing I urge every girl that gets into this industry porn or stripping or any type of inter bit entertainment business like this save your money we will not be this hot forever <laughs> i will be hopefully done with nursing school i want to be a cosmetic nurse i want to do like lip um lip injections botox rhinoplasty all that kind of stuff kind of kind of be like a cosmetic nurse is what they would call it um, which is going to take a long time. So I'm going to say 10 years. Hopefully I'm like, you know, on the road to success, probably have a kid. <laughs>